Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and you know, okay, I think there's a correlation between Obamacare, I swear, and the price of gas here in Southern California, because there's, there's been more problems with Obamacare, the gas prices have been going down, but that has nothing to do with, of course, them saying that, oh, this morning they opened the doors to the asylum, and oh, then the con press conference began. Hmm? Oh, yes, just hit, wait until you hear the crazy news coming up, and for now we're going to bring all Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. Well, they said, uh, I guess, no less than Juan Williams said this morning, the president is out, in another act of brilliance, the president has outflanked the Republican Party on health care and, and is showing that he understands the problems of the American people. And he is going to fix the problem administratively. Of course, it can't be fixed administratively, and it's only a short-term fix. And it doesn't work for anybody that loses their insurance Monday. Mm -hmm. And it's you know, and it has, and he, the people that are, the companies have already pulled their private policies from each one of the states. There's there's no one doing private policies anymore in these states of which he says well. And then he never he could not get away from the the if they like these inferior policies they can keep these inferior policies. But in 214, they're going to tra transitioning to a policy that we know that they'll approve of more. Uh oh, what did Herbie Daddy just say? He said that if you, they're making fun, the nightclub comics are making fun using school kids on the night show and other things to explain mathematics to the president. Using the figures he gave, only one tenth of one, per, only one tenth of one tenth of percent of the people that went to the Obama website signed up for Obamacare. And uh, the, of the 970,000 that signed up, 950,000 didn't like what they saw whatsoever and said, F you. So mm -hmm. he's got problems, folks. And he doesn't seem to understand it, which is why a Democratic senator this morning said, I, I think before the press conference started, they'd opened the doors to the loony bin and they were doing the press conference today. Ooh. And Obama and Reid have no intention of fixing the health care problem. Harry Reid said that uh, it will not be brought to the floor as long as he's uh, head of the Senate. Because he said it's Republicans trying to destroy the plan. Well, the plan is now totally destroyed because the, here's another mathematics thing. Uh, even Mary, uh, Mary Landrieu admits this morning that the system was never designed to do more than 27,000 people a day to make his system work. At the, you know, he has to have five times as many people a day sign up than the system can handle. If it couldn't handle 27,000 a day, it can't do five times that amount every day. Mm -hmm. So the system, the whole thing is just screwed. So. And Vatican polls parishes on birth control and marriage. Oh yeah, because this guy is um, there. Re okay, this guy was brought in to fix the problem with priests having fooling around with young boys, and it was a mistake. And they assumed that they're really looking for the next uh, next pope now because this guy is so far to the left. The the Catholic Church is a, is a conservative. He is so liberal. Well, if they pick a guy. That's a Jesuit, and the Jesuits are way to the left of the church, and they're political. He, he's going to be way to the left of the church and political, and the, the, believe me, this, the, he may have solved one problem, but he's, you know, this is the Muslims, this is a man that we can do business with. That always means they got somebody that they can roll. And Vatican polls parishes on birth control and marriage. She likes that. She just said it twice. I know, because it is important. And Democrats scramble to fix Obama's troubled health care law. Oh, yeah. They're going to vote. The, uh, the House is going to vote and overwhelmingly approve the Republican plan that says if you like your health care, you can keep your health care for all Americans. And that is what Obama had actually is afraid of two things. One, they're saying the I word, the Democrats in the House of Representatives. They said that high crime, they said uh, there was no, a, a fraud is a, is, a, is a misdemeanor crime. Mm -hmm. And that is listed under the rules of impeachment. They know that they can impeach Obama in the House. There's far more than enough people on the right and left to do it. But Harry Reid will not do it. And they'll have 51 votes in the Senate because they know they can count on 10 Republicans to vote with the Democrats. And shut down exposed clash of political visions. 
uh, yeah, and you know, you've got, okay, what her daddy said, were the people that shut the government down right? Oh, absolutely. They're, it's proving it all they were right now. The problem is you can't get the people that are the heads of the Republican Party to admit, oh, did, were there any jobs lost according to the president during the shutdown? No. Did the economy go up while the shutdown was going on? Yes. Was there any damage suffered by the shutdown? Absolutely none. So, and yet the people at the top of the Republican Party are condemning the people that were right in doing what they were doing because, oh, who was shut? 87% of the United States government continued to work even though the shutdown was done? Mm. And more than that could have been done if they had been declared essential? Shutdowns are sort of a joke today, folks. And House Republicans to try to impeach U.S. Attorney General Holder. Oh, they won't even try. They'll do it. There's enough votes in the House to do it. And, uh, and he's not loved by the Senate Democrats. So, um, and it is a thing, I think, that the Republicans can basically toss his ass out on their own. You know how they do it? They mm -hmm. simply don't fund him. Mm -hmm. And basically, if he's not funded, the president's got a problem. The president knows that Holder has to go because Holder is refusing to obey subpoenas to turn over evidence, which means Holder is eventually going to go to jail. And in order to have him go to jail, he'll probably have him resign. You know, because I've got a better job with the law firm that I used to work with, so I'm mm -hmm. resigning. And undetectable guns, a law enforcement challenge. I used to own undetectable guns. There's nothing difficult about doing that. The problem comes with an undetectable gun is they're always detectable if you, if you don't put them inside something else. Because this shows, the, when you go through a scanner, the scanner shows the gun. So you have to, okay, Herbie Daddy says, Go watch television. They'll show you what you do is you disable the gun and put it in parts, and then it doesn't show up as a gun because you cannot get an undetectable gun by uh, X-ray machine. It's impossible, no matter what they're made out of. And Israel launched strikes on Syrian missile sites, Damascus. Yeah, and Obama basically gave he. Uh, what happened was they did a fake on Obama. They sent their jets out. Uh, earlier than what he thought they were going to be sent out, and then they attacked. And this mm -hmm. is what's going to happen in Syria and Iran, and he knows it. He's going to be given one set of figures, and they're going to attack as much as days earlier. But, oh, what did they say? Obama, this is from one of the experts, Obama is going to set the time of the attack on Iran. When he comes on and says, we have a deal with the Iranians, at that moment, the attack is going to take place on Iran. And Obama won't be able to do anything because the instant he makes up his mind, the whole world is going to know when he's going to be on the air. And he will have set the time. So, and, and there's no way on earth that the air defense system in Iran can be up in a matter of hours. And carry to Congress, calm down over Iran sanctions. The guy is a fruitcake. The Democrats have said, no, we're not going to lift the sanctions on Iran, and he's trying to use his friends in the Senate. And Harry Reid is on the wrong is on the wrong side of Obama. You want to get you, you really want to keep your job in the Senate? Let the Iranians get a nuclear missile when you need Jews to keep paying the bills for you. China newspaper recants a bold defense of arrested reporter. Yeah, because you, they, okay, what it was is they let the newspaper made a defense and then basically they did a retraction. Just like, uh, well, the Republicans have no stand, nothing, there's no leg to stand on now that CBS News has said an error had been made in their covering of the Benghazi thing. Uh, only problem was that I read a thing that the CBS had basically went in the tank because the president wanted that issue killed. So in ra what it was, CBS basically 60 Minutes had to admit that they don't do research and put a bogus story on because the president basically asked him to. No, that made things even worse for him. So another U.S. city mulls bankruptcy due to soaring wages and pensions. Yeah, well, uh, I think De Desert Springs, San Diego is getting ready. Desert Springs, a <laughs> lot of California cities cannot pay the. Okay. One of the, I said, Los Angeles has got a problem within the next decade. There, it's going to be nearly almost a trillion dollars in unfunded pension debt. Oh. Well, they keep raising taxes and people keep leaving. I mean, only down, okay, here's how they work it. 
if you can't pay the bills you have because the tax revenue isn't coming in, increase the tax revenue because that will help you bring in more money. No, you get less money because the people leave. And another U.S. city mulls bankruptcy due to soaring wages and pensions. I know, Herbie Daddy says she, she likes that one. That's because, guess wait until you get this other one. Yeah. Chuck Berry arrested for impersonating a U.S. Air Marshal to try and get a Dunkin' Donuts discount. I know, Chuck Berry is in, he's is, is pushing 80 years of age and and uh, I, get a, I don't think that people would have known. You know Chuck Berry when you see Chuck Berry. And, uh, Something does not that, sound I right know, about this. We probably jested about the fact that I'm a U.S. Air Marshal, and because police officers always get things donuts. So just, I know, and they arrested him. Uh, I know. It's just uh, I, Chuck Berry has got a long arrest record for um, doing dumb things. So, and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, never grow old.